Okay, check this out. This is the mechanist costume from Fallout 3. As a matter of fact, let's go so you can see it. Let's let's have a little sit down. And let's see. Ah, there we go. Wheel around here a little bit. Come on, I want to look at me. Why does it do that? Why does it, you know, make it so you can't look at yourself? But here we have it. The mechanist costume from Fallout 3. This is the one if you, depending on how you finish the quest, you can get either this costume or the antagonizer's costume. I did it, I forget how I did it, but I did it where I had both. Let's see if we, if we stand up. There you go, you can see it for a brief bit there. Now, let's take a look at the new Mechanist costume. Okay, now I want us to look very closely at a certain part of the Mechanist from the new video. First of all, it is a very, very close rendition of the suit, I think. Which uh, which could, you know, very well be for the fact that the Mechanist was a radio character, and perhaps, you know, dressing up as a Mechanist all requires is a little bit of welding experience, and, you know, the ability and the urge to be the Mechanist. I mean, no different than if you want to be the Joker in our world. You know, all you need is a purple suit and perhaps some hair dye to get the proper green effect. A little bit of makeup and a little bit of insanity. So, what we have here, again, here is you as 101 in Fallout 3. Now, let's go back to the Mechanist in Fallout 4. Does that not look like a Pip-Boy? Pip-Boy? See the Pip-Boy? Now, there are alternate explanations for this. The Mechanist in Fallout 4 could be someone completely different. Because, after all, the Mechanist in the Fallout 4 series is uh, an actual radio character from the whole Silver Shroud show. So, there could be anybody could be the Mechanist who has the technical ability. However, I think that's really funny that they chose to put a screen on his arm. Yes, he could put a screen on his arm just to control the robots. He'd almost need something like that. But it looks like someone has integrated a Pip-Boy into the outfit. Now, could he be another Vault Dweller other than 101? Well, sure, but why would you do that when 101 has the suit? Depending on how you finish the uh, the quest. If you say, well, the canon ending is to finish the quest with the Mechanist suit. This is a very compelling thing. It's very possible that in Fallout 4 you will fight the protagonist from Fallout 3 who has apparently gone loopy and become one of the enemies he's vanquished. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it's a far-out concept? Is it completely silly to think that perhaps, you know, 101 was sitting there in his tin hut, huffing jet one night, looking at his inventory and said, you know, it's been boring for a while. I haven't seen a raider in a while. People around here are starting to forget the things they did. They're starting to wonder if I'm worth having a house up here because, you know, all I do is periodically grab some metal and patch some pipes. No one uh, remembers that I kept them from being blown up, that I got them their water. Perhaps you need needs a little bit of glory. Needs a little bit of fame, a little bit of, you know, doesn't matter how you get there sometimes, I guess, especially if you're on jet, sitting in a tin hut in post-apocalyptic. Look around here. Look at how much happiness there is. You know, it's... Could it be that uh, 101 finally, you know, soaking up all of the things that finally happened to him over the course of Fallout 3, the death of his father, the, you know, death of so many people, death of so many people at his own hand. Is it so far-fetched to think that maybe, just sitting in his little apartment, staring in a locker, he said, I have some technical skills, I know how to fix robots. Maybe I could go do something somewhere else. Be something big for somebody else here. Take things over and make myself the boss of some place. Wander away from post-apocalyptia and DC forever. Let them drink their water. He's going to go and make a new empire for himself. And it's a possibility. You almost can't take your eyes off him now, can you? Look at the curve of the suit. It's just... What is the story? We'll find out in a couple days. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night, everybody. If it's not one thing, it's another. Well, gotta run.